So the Godot team has released an article about what rendering APIs will actually be shipping with Godot 4. I will have this article linked below in case you want to read it more detailedly, but just in a brief summary, they are going to be prioritizing getting Godot 4 out quickly. And to do that, they're just going to be shipping Godot 4 with Vulkan support. I haven't seen this mention. Um, that could possibly mean that uh, Godot 4.0 will not have WebGL in the first release, like a WebGL as a build target. But that being said, OpenGL will be added back in by the 4.1 release. Now, in the current version of Godot 3, we have OpenGL ES3 and ES2. But in the last few years since Godot 3 has come out, OpenGL ES3 has been widely adopted. As you can see, all the major web browsers now support it using WebGL2. This is, this is a weird thing, but GLES2 is WebGL1. WebGL2 is GLES3. Uh, I, I don't know why they didn't just skip and synced up their versioning, but hey. But as you can see, the only one that is not is Safari. And it's actually in their technical preview, so, you know, hopefully within the next year, Safari also supports WebGL too. Many of you may have seen a, you know, decent sized performance difference between running GLES 3 versus 2. And honestly, it could be pretty drastic in Godot. They go on to say that the implementation GLES 3 in Godot 3 versus the implementation in Godot 4 will be different, and so we shouldn't have that big performance drawfall for GLES 3. So this really shouldn't be a big worry. So they go in to talk about kind of the category user that may be affected by this change. And on older versions of Intel iGPUs, they may not be able to support this new version of Godot, but I believe anything made in the last 10 years should support it. Now, if GLES 2 support is really important for you, um, well, first of all, Godot 3 will be maintained for a long time, and it's also open source, so you could add your own updates to it if you want to fork off of that version of Godot. But they bring up that if they get support from contributors, then GLES 2 could make a comeback into Godot 4, but that's, that's kind of iffy for now. I would suspect that would be on after the Godot 4.1 release. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear about future Godot news, please subscribe to my channel. I also post devlogs about my tower defense game that I'm making with Godot. So I hope to see you next time.